Hello, my name is Kellen Sais and today's video I want to speak with you, especially with women uh, in the 30, 40, 50, 60. Because I hear some friends telling me, um, she said, you know, Kellen, I have a hard time to have an orgasm. Well, this is a major word, right? Uh, but it's very common, it's very common that many women don't, in today's day, don't find a way to have an orgasm. Basically because, um, or you are with a selfish man that just is caring about having their own satisfaction, you know, or you don't train your men how to treat you. Basically, we have some chemistry between um, us and our partner. But what happens is they know necessarily your partner know when you having a real satisfaction because it still it was and it's still been many women, many women in the world. Uh, for cultural reasons, for uh, they feel embarrassing, they feel ashamed, they feel uh, that the men need to know exactly how to treat. Well, sometimes you have the coincidences that your men know how to make you feel good, that how he know how to make you feel well. But sometimes, I mean, the man is no. A wizard so he don't really know because many pe women in the world always pretending pretending that they having an orgasm that they are feeling good they start doing those um, sounds that made the men think oh my god I am killing it I am doing the best I am ooh, you know so the man doesn't really try to improve because you already telling the man with your um, sounds that you produce and your movement and your face expression and you know that you are feeling good when you are not feeling absolutely anything so how is possible or how do you want that the man really uh, at some point find out he's gonna repeat exactly the same because he thinks he's doing well and if he's doing well you know why change <laughs> so you have to uh, train your man how to treat you you need to train your man how to touch you how to talk to you how to look at you because there are certain um, things in the relationship they happen sometimes most naturally but sometimes it doesn't happen naturally. The men don't know how to. The men don't know how to. Um, basically, men are a little lazy, most, you know. Uh, many men are very lazy. And they don't really work out the, the relationship, the sexual activity with a woman. They think it's just, you know, bam, bam, bang, of us half an hour doing this thing when. A woman really, you don't need even half, half an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, or whatever, you know. Sometimes when the men know how to treat you, how to look at you, how to touch you, how to talk to you, you sometimes, the, you know, the, you have 95% of the world done and when you have this 95% of the work done then even with a minimal uh, touch rose close uh, with a person next to you 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 complete the process <laughs> you complete the process so it's important 
not just for you as a woman, but especially this video is for you woman in the 30, 40, 50, and basically because if the men have a relationship with 15, 20, uh, I don't know, with those teenager, you know, then the teenager, even when they don't feel anything, they in their mind think they are feeling something and they start screaming and yelling and pretending and acting like they feel something. They don't even know. They, they don't know how to have an orgasm. They don't even know. They don't even, <laughs> they don't even, I, I mean, they don't know what exactly that means, right? So having an orgasm is something really nat natural, but most people don't know how to. Most people don't really know how to complete that process naturally, you know? When do you know when you have the right person next to you on something? Or, you know, sometimes it's important this detail. Know everything in a relationship is about sex, but sex is good, and when you're doing well, it's amazing. And when you know how to complete that process, it's something called pheromone. And a woman, you know, the the main notice, the main notice is something that you like, you know. Um, I don't know, they call it the blossom, the pheromone, the, this thing like on the flower <gasps> open and you know, all of that sensation that make you feel like a wow, <laughs> you know, like, ah, ha, wow, I got it, I did it, I feel it because I mean, it's, it's really good feeling. It's nothing to feel shame about. When you have sex, what is the the compliment? Uh, you know, what is the end of that? The satisfaction, the ending, the and then after you know you have this orgasm, you man or woman, the most. Um, amazing feeling come after that because when you are with a person you love with a person you feel good with a person you want to have in your life not somebody just you know to feel like oh i'm thirsty i drink water and that's it no but this feeling that you want to put your chest your your head, your face, and the chest of that person, and stay there and talk, or just don't talk, and just feel this um, feeling. <laughs> I am, I am acting like I am in the process. Well, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is really good, ternura. That's the word that I was looking for, ternura. Ternura, I don't know how to say that word in English because I don't know what, what was the, the word in English, but ternura. Ternura is a feeling that makes you feel delicate, that makes you feel loved, that makes you feel secure, they make you feel appreciate. That's the one of the most amazing feeling after you have a good sex journey. Like I said before, you don't really have to uh, pass half an hour, an hour, whatever you know, no kichicha, 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 because it's not necessary. It's not necessary, you know, always you you are, you know, uh, that's what you want. But it basically, you don't need to, to have an orgasm. So women, uh, and I'm talking especially with women in the 30, 40, 50, 60, because 
I basically hear women to say, I want to feel that. I want to have that sensation. I want to have this emotion, that feeling, but no matter what or something, I don't get it. Well, you know, you train your man how to talk to you, how to treat with you, how to look at you, how to make you feel good. And basically, if the man really loves you and is interested on you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. He's going to do and he gonna start the process and he gonna work out the relationship in order to make you feel good. And by the way, there is nothing there is nothing that may a man feel more man, more you know, satisfied than when the man know and feel and is secure and is hundred percent assured that he is making his woman good. When he feels that he is satisfying that lady, that he is doing it for real, oh God, the men feel really good for that. The same as the woman feel good when she is satisfying her man because it's a good feeling you want to make. The people you love, the people you you want to close to you, happy. And, uh, well, I think uh, this is what I want to talk to you. I was at the mountain today after five days working on a stoppable, getting up at 7 in the morning and getting back to bed at 3 and 4 in the morning working with my magazine, with my clothing line, with my hypnotherapy uh, master process and everything that I am doing. Plus, you know that I am in the process of release very soon my next book about self-help. So I want to just share this little moment because today I feel good. I get up very late today. My son yesterday look at me and say, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. Your eyes are very pumping and you need, uh, you, you need to sleep. And then I say, oh my God, uh, okay. So last night I went to bed about one in the morning and today i decide to sit in the bed until uh 10 and then i will call my husband bring me some coffee to the bed i have some meditation on the bed um and i also uh, have my cat and share a little bit with him and then I decide I say okay I get up I leave him make breakfast for my son and my husband and I and then I decide okay I ask my husband because we have a couple days he's working very hard too and I say uh when did you plan on going to the mountain again and he said I don't know I have a lot of work and then I say okay I'm going today I'm going today and he said good job enjoy so I right now getting in my car I was uh, about an hour in go up and down and now I'm going home to do my hair so today is a day that I dedicated for me to spend it with me with the nature with the love with the thing and I want to give you this little video uh share with you this little video because it came to my attention that my friend told me that i want to feel that feeling i want to have that feeling and because it's something that i really hear a lot uh I know what is what kind of frustration you get out when you don't when you don't you don't make to get 
an orgasm. So, I'm not an expert in don't having an orgasm, by the way. I like my stuff, and if you don't know how to, if my partner don't know how to, I show him how to. So, I'm gonna get that no matter what. So, you have to learn how to do it. Besitos, I see you in my next video. Bye for now. I'm going home to do my hair. Bye.